Hi guys, uh, Liam here. I've noticed on the forums for Club 3D that a lot of people are having problems getting the um, 60 hertz refresh rate at 4K using the CAC uh, 1170 or 1070. So it took me a while to figure out how, how to do it. Um, so I thought I'd share this video just to show you how I've done it. So to give you a quick bit of background, I have a Dell XPS 15 9530 which uses the Intel HD 4600 graphics and um, it's also got a discrete NVIDIA GPU but that shouldn't make a difference and I've got that connected to a Samsung um, 6000 series um, 4K TV and that supports um, for, um, 4K 60Hz over HDMI 2.0 with the 444 Chroma so when I initially got the adapter um, the max I could get out of it was 30 hertz, which is uh, not acceptable. It's it's too slow to move things around the desktop. It's it's laggy when you type. Um, so I was going to send back the adapter, but I eventually figured out a way to get it to work through trial and error. And I haven't seen anybody else online who's uh, figured it out. So I just thought I'd share with you how I've done it. Um, so to start with, you can see here that I actually have the setting here. Um, I, I'm using tech. Um, Camtasia Studio um, at the moment which can't rec record the full desktop at 4k so I'm just recording the Intel window and um, <coughs> so um, just so I can actually show you what's going on so the first thing I had to do was I had to update to the very latest uh, Intel graphics driver and um, Dell actually block you from doing uh, that they want you to install their latest version and their latest version uh, doesn't work uh, doesn't give you the options so you have to actually download the driver from the Intel's website and you have to um, extract the driver to the desktop and install it through device manager and um, once you've installed the driver it, it still won't work so um, once you've installed the driver in that way you can actually go back in and run the setup and what the setup will do uh, it, will, it would have circumvented the block because you've got already running the latest driver and that installs the latest version of this control panel here which you need because there are some settings that are hidden in all the versions so once you've done that you can actually um, get 60 hertz or 59 hertz working and the way you do that is so in your control panel um, you need to go into custom resolutions and you've got an error there and you need to you see here it's this is with the older driver this is all you get to see you get to see the width height refresh rate and if you try and put in the 4k settings and 60 hertz or 59 hertz you'll get a message saying it, you're exceeding the bandwidth um so what you have to do is down here you have to select your tv and now you've got a few more options Th these weren't enabled in the older version of the driver which is why you had to do this so you put in your uh, 4K uh, resolution, I think it's 3840, 2160. You can actually put 60 in here. I think it'll, what it'll do though, it'll default to 59. Uh, into this, I just leave it as disabled. Now, this is the thing. You have to select the CVTRB. This one doesn't work, this one doesn't work, this one does work. Don't ask me what they do. I have no idea. I just try and error. So once I selected this, um, I won't do it now, but you select that and you hit save and it looks like it hasn't done anything. Um, but what you do then is you go back into general settings and you'll see now that you have the ability to select the um, proper refresh rate. And you can also independently verify it by going into the display adapter settings in Windows and you can see that it's set at um, 59 hertz. And you'll notice the difference straight away because as you move things around, uh, you'll see that they're a lot smoother so I did this initially uh, about uh, a month ago and uh, Windows update actually updated my Intel drivers to a version that doesn't have this and it kind of killed my settings so just be careful of that and um, I just had to re-download the, the same version and uh, reapply them so just be careful and maybe you can stop them from being uh, downloaded automatically but um, that's how I got it to work. And one other thing I'll, I'll just mention as well, set, if you've got a Samsung television, I, I don't know about other TVs, 
make sure that it's set to UHD color. Um, I haven't tried it without setting it to UHD color, but it um, obviously it's a, a better setting and if it works with it on, all well and good. Um, try it without and see does that work too for, for other people, but that's why I got it to work and I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So what I'll do is I'll post this onto the forum, uh, just a link to the, the YouTube for this video. If you have any questions, uh, <laughs> uh, post them in the forum and I'm sure once a couple of you guys have actually got it working, you'll be able to help each other.